Welcome to my house. I'm Froppy Buckle. In today's episode, we're still out in Missouri. We're still trying to complete the two missions. This one is going to be the Mudwater River Trail. <clears throat> we got a few fish to get out there. Now, if you like my videos, and if you can get some value out of these, if you watch them when you're laughing at me or whatever, any type of value is good, um, go ahead and hit the like button. Drop me a comment. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. They'll let, they'll let those guys in the background pay attention to the guy behind the curtain. They'll let you know when I post a new video. Check it out. All right, so let's jump over there. Let's knock this second mission out, and we're going to move forward. So I'll see you over there. Make sure you got a license, and later. Okay, we're back. Now, we got to complete the second part of this mission, the, the second mission too, which is Mudwater Trail. So for that, we need a largemouth bass, we need a chain pickerel, we need the grass pickerel, and we need the bowfin, and we've got somebody knocking at the dance floor. Let's get him in here. Ah, this might be our bowfin. I don't think that he is a captain. That's a shame because we probably have another one on that other one. But I don't want to lose this boat. And we've got four pound four pound line here. And this guy he could be a trophy the way he's fighting. We're just going to concentrate on him and get him in. Come oh, on, you guy. Yeah, this could be a trophy. Whatever's on that other line, he's determined to hang around to get a little bit of dance time, I think. Come on, man. That's what's fun about this river. When you do hook into one of these guys' line, I think I got a... I think this is a five-pound reel, four-pound cast, six-and-a-half-pound... Rod. So these guys do give you, they give you a fight. Oh, he's coming at me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me something. There we go. Come on, big boy. Somebody else is waiting to dance. And you're taking up time. Man, he's down there. I can see him. 
Come on, you big thing. Get up out of it. And he does not want to come in. And this four pound dash. What is it? Is it a catfish? No way. <laughs> Channel cat, eleven pounder. On four pounds. Gotta love that. All right, this guy just refuses to go away. Okay, I'm about to get you now. Another channel cat. All right, these are not our bow fins. So, I was standing before, let's throw across the lake. That's like a river. There we go. Drop that guy down in there. Wow. That was a nice fight. That was a big catfish. Okay. As I was so rudely interrupted, we need the chain pickerel, the grass pickerel, the largemouth bass, and the bow, and the, and the bow fin. So, we don't need any more of these catfish, but they bring us good money. So, we won't care if we get a couple of them. But let's go ahead now and uh, get the rest of these fish in our net. Listen to the Channel cat wasn't even a trophy. And in there, see who's next. And this guy is next. Well, I had my my floater and my feeder rod in there. I grabbed out my ultralight, threw on red and white daredevil, quarter ounce casting spoon, threw out there straight across the river into the weeds across there. So we're going to try to pick up. There's a nice largemouth bass, and we'll get him off the list, and we'll keep throwing over across there. Basically, I'm just running a very slow twitch. And sometimes just kind of bouncing it with a lift and drop. And normally you should be able to... Uh-oh, we got somebody on the dance floor. Uncle Buck wasn't paying attention. Who's this? Hey. 
There we go. Come on. Don't want another catfish, I want a bow fin. Come on, give me a bow fin. There's a trophy black bullhead, though. Nice 43, XP gain, 51. We'll take him, but... Let's see what we can pull. Get him back down there and And in this river, because of the flow, and I'm basically pulling up towards, I'm pulling into the current a bit, it, as in some of the lakes we were retrieving at the power two, a little faster, this, the, because of the current blowing in head on into the lure, you don't have to retrieve as fast when you're fishing on a river. Now, of course, if you're standing downstream and throwing upstream, then of course you gotta be either one, use the current to move your bait, or two, pull a lot faster. All right, we're gonna keep hitting these weeds over there where I'm throwing. And we'll be right back. And there is our chain pickerel. That was the cast I paused on. When I threw it over there. So we grabbed him. We can get him off of our list. The chain pickerel. We've got rid of a lot of the bass. We need the grass pickerel. And that bow fin. So we'll keep hitting it. Here. He's staying on top. This could be our boat. He didn't run down like a catfish to the bottom right away. Let's see. Oh. It's pretty easy to bring back to the top. He does have some pull to him. Come on, big guy, get in here. He doesn't like to be tugged on. If that's the case, then we're going to tug a little more on you, buddy.
that's what we want. There he be. All right, we need the grass pickerel. And I want an opportunity to show you this other spot anyway. So I'm going to load up my gear here and I'll be right back and we're going to head over to another spot. And we are back with one on the dance floor. And what I did was I packed my backpack up. This is a, this is a big guy. And spawned into the Pikes Challenge. And I just basically just set up shop here, changed my gear over from the small cut bait to the small minnows. And just thrown in, and here we are dancing. He's a little bit heavy, whatever he is. Small minnow. Good fight. We're here for the grass pickerel, sir. If you don't mind. Alright, let's drop him in. Okay, so yeah, real quick. Basically, we came in, we came down, we spawned in here and we're setting up shop thrown across the river. And we should have our grass pickle very shortly. And there you got it. Our grass pickle. We'll grab him. That completes that mission. Looks like we got another one on the line here. He, he wants to dance. So let's see who that is. Maybe we got two. I ended up getting him straight in there where that fish just jumped up out of there on the corral This is a pickerel also. And there's two for good measures. So there you have it. <clears throat> that completes both. Mission 1 and Mission 2 of Mudwater River, Missouri. And it's 8.32 in the morning. Not too shabby. However, here's the kicker. We've only got $1,906 to take home. If I left now with this mission complete, I'd be negative. It cost me over $2,600 to get here. $1,600 just for travel and license. And a thousand dollars on bait, maybe eleven hundred on bait. There's twenty-seven hundred dollars. Got to stick around till I make enough money. And you guys, if you're fishing this for the first time, and I've got you through this point, you've got your missions complete. You got to hang, fish that second day, fish that third day. Have fun here. There's trophies to be had. I just grabbed a bunch of trophy largemouth bass right here on. Uh, with the small minnows. So, <clears throat> you can get some money here. St stick around, make yourself as much as you can and, until your bait runs out. And we'll see you later. And thank you for fishing with Uncle Buck. Welcome back. That was a lot of fun. Fishing, Mudwater River, Missouri. 11 pound catfish, five pound bowfin on four pound line. Doesn't get any better than that. Hey, we got our missions completed. We learned about river, flow, current. 
If you had a lot of fun, like I did, if you got any value out of this, go ahead and click the like button down there. Help me out. If you want to see more of these videos, got a lot more in line, a lot more things coming up. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll get notified next time I post another one. But remember, have fun out there. Mine's tight. And never, ever give up the fight. Just tonight